Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And Scott and I are so excited for today's guest because she's one of our own. And she even has a cool nickname. But before we talk to our guest, I'd be remiss if I didn't properly introduce my co host. You know him, you love him, the brain, the professor, the Land Geek Flight School Sherpa, Scott Todd. From scotttodd.net, landmodo.com. And if you're not automating your Craigslist and your Facebook postings, postingdomination.com forward slash the land geek. Scott Todd, how are you? Mark, I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to talk to our guest. Oh, you know, and I, I think she might have the coolest nickname. The, the coolest nickname that you've given? I think so. Yeah, because because like you've given her this nickname, I think, right? I, I think I don't think it was me. I think I stole it from Zeno. Oh, okay. Right, let's right. let's introduce our guest and we'll tell the whole backstory. Should we do that? I think so. Yeah, I think we should do it. All right. Today's guest is Natalie Galeon, and Natalie started with the Investors Toolkit. She was at boot camp, and. Her and her sister are sitting out in boot camp, and everyone loves these podcasts where we talk to a, a student, and we kind of, you know, it's very inspiring, and they talk about their success and, you know, how they did it, and I'm really excited to kind of dig in with Natalie, but she's out there in boot camp not saying a word, no questions, just kind of, you know, absorbing all the information, and, and then during a break, Zeno comes up to me, and he's like, mock have you talked to Natalie? I'm like, who's Natalie? I don't even know if she has, has like her, her name tag on. I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, mock. She's a silent assassin. She's doing, and I forgot, what was the number, Natalie, you're, you're at your passive income? I, I was at 4,500 at the big camp. Yeah, yeah. She's at 4,500 a month passive income just with the toolkit. I'm like, what? And so I'm like, we got we to gotta talk to Natalie. So today's guest is Natalie Galleon, whom from now on, will be known as the silent assassin. Natalie, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. So Natalie, let's rewind the tape. And how did you start getting into land investing and then, you know, really start getting into it on a, on a sort of a, a higher volume basis? So back in 2015, I... Um, I'm living in Colorado. I'm originally from Dallas and I moved here. So I've been here three years, but I realized it's still hot in the summer where I live, you know, down in the foothills. So I thought I want to get up to the mountains and started looking and I didn't know it at the time, but it was a certain county that a lot of land investors were in. And I said, why is this land so cheap? So I ended up buying some acreage myself. And then I thought I want to investigate to see who these people are offering all this owner financing. And I, you know, did a search and um, I started in 2016 actually with another program and it was it's different than the toolkit because it was just like kind of part time and it, it really taught cash flips. And so I thought that kind of got my proof of concept. So I started in the first four months of 2016 and I did a couple, like a handful of cash flips and this is really great. It does work, but it wasn't enough for me to quit my job. And I thought, okay. And so I didn't pick it back up. I just kind of left it. And I finally decided I'm so tired of working for someone else. And I just had that light bulb moment where it was my time to decide to, to do something about it. And that's when I found your podcast, I started listening and the let freedom ring completely resonated with me. I'm like, and I just, literally had that mantra in for a couple of months while I was listening to your podcast. And then I was like, I'm going to get the toolkit and I'm going to do the passive and that way I can quit and be comfortable. And that, and I did that about September and it's been about nine months and yeah, that's basically my backstory. So I'm super excited. So since getting the toolkit, how many deals have you done and what is your current passive income? Okay. So I thought you were going to ask me that. I don't know how many deals because I, I know my passive is at 6,000 right now. Though I, I'd probably say maybe 
10 of those are cash as well. So I've probably done about 50 deals. 50 deals. Yeah. In nine months. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, and, and that was my goal. It was kind of like in a year I want to do at least, I want 50 notes. And so I, Scott Todd, I kind of took your reverse engineering. Okay. How many do I need to buy? How many do I need to sell? And I reverse, okay, one I need to buy and sell one a week. And that was, that's my goal and it still is. And I'm hitting it. So yeah, I just, I, it's funny because every time I, I, I did have to like do proof of concept for myself, which is like, okay, I'm going to buy this. Is it going to sell? And I'm, if I get to a kind of a new subdivision, I get really nervous because I'm still just beginning. But for me, proof of concept is, is there obviously. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. I think, you know, you are in the majority. I think most people need to kind of dip their toe in the water, get a proof of concept first and yeah. then, and then go, you know, all in. And um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, Scott Todd, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, what's cool about what she said, and I think that this is, this is what a lot of people miss, right? Is when we think about, uh, look, I know when I thought about like getting out of the corporate job, I always thought about like, okay, how much money do I need to have like saved up in terms of net worth in order to get the heck out of the rat race, right? And so, you know, I would come up, literally, Mark, I'd come up with a number like $3 million. Okay, well, when I have $3 million, I can retire. Like that was the retirement number, right? And you, you go through life and you think like, okay, I need this amount of money so I can retire. And then you're wrong. And what I mean by that is l listen to what Natalie said. Like she said that she's got a passive income. She's built a passive income of $6,000 a month. That's, that's uh, $72,000 uh, 72, per year coming in the door, whether she worked or not, she could just let that go. Now I was in the bank today. I was in Chase and Chase has this big sign on the wall that says, get a nine month CD 2%. So let's do some math here, okay? So if Natalie were to take her, her money, like if she were to like keep working and take her nest egg, she would need $3.6 million to take it down to Chase, put it into a nine month CD to earn 2%. And everybody would tell her she's nuts to do that. You're only earning 2%. You could put it in the stock market and earn 8%, okay? So obviously, if she's going to earn more money on, a, on an annual basis, then she needs to put less money in there, right? Well, to earn what she's earning in her land business, she has to go and invest about a million dollars in the stock market. And that's if the stock market does an average year of 8%. Okay, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's not countable or reliable. But what I'm trying to say here is that what Natalie did and what our students have done and what other land investors have done is that they have created a passive income without having to have millions into the bank, millions into some other system. I know that Natalie, I guarantee you, Natalie, you didn't build that $6,000 of passive income per month on millions of investments, right? Like there's oh. no way you invested millions of dollars. Right. So yeah. you want to talk about like the ultimate in leverage. I don't know why people don't take action on this. Exactly. Okay, I said my piece. Yeah, I, I love that. And I, I don't think we talk enough about that, Scott, where we reverse engineer, okay, if this is your passive, this is really how much you'd have, you'd have to save in your job to even earn that. And the numbers are, are actually overwhelming. They are. Um, like, yeah. literally, they, they are, they are $3.6 million to earn 2% of Chase. That's stupid. And, and Natalie's got a good job. I don't, how long would it take you to earn, to, to save $3.6 million, Natalie? Well, I've had to stop spending, but um, uh, probably, you know, 10 years. 10 years. So nine months or 10 years. I mean, you know, that's a long time. So, um, you know, but I, I actually, like, I'm kind of impressed. Only 10 years to save three months. No, no, I was like, that's I think really good. Oh, no, 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 Mark, Mark, Mark. First of all, she said, <laughs> she said she'd have to stop spending everything. <laughs> Oh, stop spending everything. No, 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 yeah, live, Natalie. Spending everything. So you have to I mean, 50% of your income, you take 20 years. But look, look, here's what I thought she was going to say. I thought she was going to say, well, if I stop spending everything, like nine months, 
<laughs> like, I thought that's what we were getting set up for, right? But like, yeah. Yeah, at least you went out for years, a decade at least. It's probably 30, so. 30 years, man. Yeah. 30. Nine months that's or 30 years. That's why the system is broken, Mark, right? Like, you got to work your entire life to barely come up with $3.6 million so you can retire. Live life now. Enjoy it. Get free. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, that's a whole, we could do a whole other podcast on why the system is broken and, uh, uh, you know, but I want to, I want to actually dig down and try to extract from Natalie the steps that she took and why she is so successful, kind of just doing this on her own. So Natalie, why do you think that is? Like, what are you doing every single day? And tell us, I mean, I know this is a two-part question. It's kind of a long question, okay. so forgive me. But what do you like most about the business and what do you hate about the business? Okay, so the first question, um, it's really simple. I just try to keep it simple because I've tried during my job, I've also tried so many different side hustles and I was busy. I was never, you know, there's not a lot of free time when I do. So this time I decided, well, I get really tired and exhausted when I push myself too hard and I have really high expectations. I get burnt out very quickly. So I said, this is going to take a while and I'm just going to do one thing. So I, I read the book you guys recommended and I literally made that my mantra. So just do one thing. So that's it. That's all I did. So I was like, cause in seven and one week I do seven things and then I do, you know, 28 things. So it just adds up. And, and I just was consistent, literally just those two things, consistency and doing one thing and not getting bogged down in the total overall, what do I have to do and, and understanding and allowing myself the freedom to just, you know, go slow, what I thought was slow. Um, but being consistent, it, it turns out it wasn't that slow. So yeah, that was my, that's the first thing that I, I think I did. Um, and then also not to get burnt out. I try not to be attached to my outcome. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, what if this doesn't sell? And I just decided to trust the system. I think that was a big one for me and, and just move forward and not have too many thoughts around, is this going to work? I'm a little afraid. Of course I had those. I just tried to, to not emphasize them too much. Um, and I forgot the second part of your question. What, what do you hate about the business? Oh, what do I hate? Um, hmm. Well, well I love it so much. What right was now. your biggest challenge? What okay. was your biggest challenge getting started? Um, gosh, I think it was probably getting the delegation aspect to delegate. Cause I, I only have one, um, virtual assistant right now, but to, to give her the control of, you know, cause I kind of like to make sure I know what's going on everywhere and just to like actually have it go away from my brain for a while and not control it, I think was the hardest aspect and it still is. So I know how to scale though. I'm going to have to start delegating more and setting up a system. So I do, I think Tate had talked about it. I literally, if I do things one or two times, I make sure the next one is recorded on a video and I put it in my library and that has helped quite a bit. Wow. I mean, I, I love what you said, um, but I want to give Scott Todd a, a chance to see if, you know, I, I just want to make sure we're aligned, Scott. Did you, did you notice what I noticed, what she said? You I noticed a lot. Of things. <laughs> I'm not sure what you noticed, but I noticed a lot of things. Okay. What did you, what did you notice? Well, for, first in terms of um, letting go, like that in terms of her biggest struggles is kind of letting go, right? Like that's a big, that's a big piece, the letting go piece. And, you know, what I, what I always tell people is, look, you can't, there's no way you can do this on your own. There's, there's no way that you can do it uh, without multiplying time. And so, you, you know, I think that that's where the fact that she's embracing it and letting, letting it happen is, is good in terms of, of letting go. Now, what I noticed on the, the side where she was talking about what she liked about the business or what was great for her or what, what worked for her is this one thing stands out. She just trusted the system, right? Like she just trusted it. And then she suspended her beliefs because 
That, I think that is really a, a key to success just in general, is if you just suspend your belief and let it roll, you'll be surprised at the goals and then not putting a time frame on it. You know, like if, if it happens or when it happens, it will happen. Just being consistent is so important that, I mean, she kind of, she's hitting on all those pieces of success right there in one, one statement she made. Yeah, so we are aligned. I, I love the fact that she didn't say, you know, it was I, the how-to part of it, right? Like, I got posting domination, and then I got geekpay.io, and it really helped me automate and this and this and this. It was, it was, it's really the mental game. It's the mental fortitude, man. It's like the mental it, fortitude. It's, it's, it's simplifying it. It's, it's focusing on the one thing, the consistency, and then letting go of the results and just focusing on what she can control. Yeah. And lo and behold, the silent assassin in nine months has, we could argue, a $3.6 million net worth. Now, now, Mark, the other thing, too, that I thought was really cool, like, to, just to add on to what you said, right? You, you just said that she didn't talk about the tools, right? Like, the how-to or the tools. And, like, there's a lot of tools out there that can help people. And then, then there's tools that overwhelm people. Okay, so like what I like to think is, is like we talk about, and people are really blown away. Like when I teach flight school and I talk about like the automator or the tools that I use, I think people are surprised that there's like really five tools that I use for the most part in my business. That said, there's a lot of other tools in the world. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, I can do this and I can make the, all these bells and whistles. The reality is, is that the more complex you make your systems, your computer systems, your technology, then the more your time you're spending in that business and trying to learn all oh, the technology, I got the, I got, I got infusion soft. Well, that, that's ridiculous. Just stay simple and just be consistent with your, with your deliverables of things that you can control. Everything else you can't control. You can't control when someone's going to buy a property. You can't control when someone's going to accept the, the offer. You can, you can put your ads out there. You can talk to people. You can buy properties beyond that. It's outside of your control and just focus on your controllables. She hit it, man. I, yeah, I love it. I love it. So, Natalie, is there anything you would have done differently when you first started? Yes, I think so. Um, I probably would have started with flight school. Just mm -hmm. because, um, you know, what I did was I, I did the toolkit and I extracted bits and pieces from all the podcasts. So, I could have just been there more quickly, I think, if I would have done flight school from the beginning. Yeah, now, I mean, now she's getting the tools, right? Now, now right. she could have been faster with posting domination. And, I did get that. I do have that. OG pass. <laughs> OG pass and yeah, all that. Geek pay. Yeah. Oh, oh, see, it, those things help yeah. you go faster once you have the foundations down, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. I, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. If you were going to give um, a newbie an adv advice, what, what advice would you give them? I would just say, just take the leap. Take the leap. If you can only afford the toolkit, take the toolkit. Start, have it meet you where you are right now. Because I noticed in, the, in the, the group, a lot of people are like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm like, just want to like push them over the lip. Take it, take the leap, you know. Uh, start now. You can go as slow as you want. Even if you buy, you know, five properties a year, you've started, you're learning the foundations. Um, and that's the nice thing about the toolkit. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Scott Todd? I, mean, I think that everybody should just take action, right? Like, I, I mean, I do. I think that, I think that pe sometimes people are, are so afraid of success that they delay it, right? They're either afraid of success or they're afraid of failure, okay? And, you know, maybe it's this, maybe in schools, you know, you're, you're taught, like, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail the test, don't – don't don't do any of this stuff and the reality is that the world is is filled with failure i mean how many times did you fall down learn how to walk or how many times have you made a mistake you learn from those failures and you get stronger at it but failure is such a lot of people are afraid of fail a lot of people are afraid to lose money i know i was i was afraid that like oh man this is going to be terrible I, and, and it goes to your thoughts on money right it, it's a mind going back to mindset it's a mindset 
on money that it's scarce, that I'm going to lose it. I work too hard for it. These are all things that, that we're kind of ingrained in our heads when we're kids or that we pick up when we're adults because we don't want to lose money. The reality is, is that, I mean, how many times have we lost money on a property? Like I'm, I'm potentially right now facing my first one, uh, but it's, it's something that I couldn't have even controlled. So it's kind of strange, but I'm not going to lose that much money. I might lose like 50 bucks, a hundred bucks, something like that. So it's an interesting story that we'll save for another day. But, um, you know, I think that you, you need to take action and let those fears get out of your head. Do what Natalie said, buy one property, buy two properties, buy a handful of them, learn, learn how to wholesale, like buy wholesale. Like you, Mark, you have a class on that, like how to buy a free class, right? Like you, on how well, to buy land wholesale. It's coming out. We, uh, we, we've got people evaluating it now to make sure that um, all the gaps are filled. But yeah, absolutely. So, you know, to take action on something and uh, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. But start, like, I'm going to steal Natalie's word, start where you are. You don't need, like, if you can only afford something, start there and then build up to it. You know, like, it's okay. We all start somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Natalie, how was boot camp for you? Oh, it was amazing. I was so well done. Um, and it really... Like the community aspect is what I was missing by myself. So that kind of completed it for me. So yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, that's great. That's what was great. your favorite part of boot camp? I don't know, something that I taught or was it something Mark taught? You don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer. It you was can tell the us family all. feud. Uh, the family yeah. feud. <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of nice. nice. Yeah. That, that, that's an all inclusive answer, yeah. right? Yeah. You're trying to pit us against each other and she's bringing us together, Mark. Right. That's right. Yeah, I think she was Team Tate, though. Were you Team Tate? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, this, this call needs to end now, then. Right, right. <laughs> All right, well, now, I think, uh, you know, your story is really inspiring. I, I love the fact that you're, um, you know, you, you've got the mental game down. Mm -hmm. I really think that if we were going to look at one secret to your success, that really is it. And, and Scott and I talk about this all the time what's the difference between people who are successful and people who aren't in this business? And it always comes down to the mental fortitude, the grit and how they just emotionally handle the ups and downs of business. Do they get in their own way or they, or do they just stay consistent? They keep working it. And so many people either they get in their own way or they have this scarcity mentality. Or it's, it's a million different things. And, um, and I'm, and I'm not immune to it either. I mean, I, you know, that's why I meditate every day is to, to watch that thinker and be aware of it. Like, Oh my gosh, why am I even listening to that person? They're nuts. Mm -hmm. So I think that's fantastic. So Natalie, we're at that point now in the podcast where we're going to ask you for your tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, something actionable for the art of passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. What have you got? I have a website um, and it's helped me uh, determine what my strengths are. It's called the, the VIA character strength survey. It's free. And it's, um, you know, now I understand like before with my strengths, I used to fight myself. Like, why do I care about this? It really tells you where your values are and then your strengths and that way you can play to them. So it's uh, via character.org and um, VIA character.org. VIACharacter.org. All right, mm -hmm. fantastic. I have to check that out. Awesome. Um, before we go to Scott Todd's tip of the week, I just want to remind the listeners that the best compliment you can give us is forward our podcast to a friend, somebody that could benefit from passive income, some more time, more freedom, and uh, subscribe, rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at .com. We're going to send you for free the $97 Passive Income Launch Kit. And just a reminder, if you want to start automating the back end of the business with your notes, go and check out geekpay.io. All right, Scott Todd, what is your tip of the week? All right, Mark, I'm going to just admit right up front, this is self-serving, So, but it's good though. It's good self-serving. Here's the deal. Look, you guys need to go and you need to check out InvestorNinjas.com. And the reason that you need to do that 
is because in there, I did a webinar last week on my favorite tool for training VAs. It is a game changer, this tool. Okay, like you owe it to yourself. It's a free tool that's so powerful that like literally people left that webinar and they were sending me messages after the fact telling me that they were blown away that this tool even exists. And you need to see it in action and you can go see it in action for free at InvestorNinjas.com forward slash free. You got to go do that. Join for free and watch that training video that's in there. It's a free training video. It's all free. You got to go see this thing because if you're struggling, like Natalie said, like she said something, she said, the next time I do something, I'm going to make a video on, on, on the process to train my VA. This thing will change the way that she even looks at her own business. So go check it out. Do yourself a favor. Go, go now. I love it. I love it. Well, my tip of the week is check out what Natalie's doing. Go to her website, the landbox.com make her an offer maybe she'll uh, give you a wholesale deal who knows anyways natalie galleon thank you so much the silent assassin i hope you'll come back and talk about your journey from six thousand a month passive and as soon as we get you automated and get you to the next level probably it's going to probably take 12 months but we know it's in the works and then when you're at sixty thousand a month passive working like scott todd Scott, what are you at now? Two hours a week? Three hours a week? Uh, I say two hours a week. I don't even know if it's that. I just, I maybe I make myself feel good two hours a week. I, two hours a week. I can tell you last week, well, the week before that, I was on vacation and it was a big fat zero, like zero. Last week, my comeback week was, um, I'm going to say it's pretty close to like maybe an hour the week I came back. Uh, so far this week, today's Tuesday, it's not that, that early on, but it's so far it's zero. And um, I don't know, it's 10 minutes so far, like 10 minutes yesterday. And you know what, Mark, you and I are, have a meeting later this week. And so I'm going to be traveling again. So I can tell you, it's going to be pretty close to like maybe 15, 20 minutes this week. So that's it. That's it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a weird parenting thing though, when you're on the beach and you got your phone, you hear a little buzz and it's like, I just made money. And you kind of, you kind of like, well, I, I don't want to sort of sh- tell the kids like this didn't take any work or any effort. Yeah. But I, I want them to understand like if they really want to build wealth, like they're going to have to be entrepreneurial. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. And, there, and it's not just, it's just not, it's time wealth and money wealth. It's not one or the other. Like you can have both. Yeah, it's funny because, uh, Mark, you know, last Friday, I'll pull back the curtain a little bit. Last Friday, I uh, took the boat out and I was, it was on Friday and I was joking around with Mark and Tate and basically I sent them a video because I was boating near downtown on the river near downtown. And there's like all these skyscrapers and I'm like, see that building? That building is filled with people working and that building is filled with people working and all these people are working. I mean, technically my systems are working, but they were working to bring me more money. And the coolest thing is that I get off the boat and look, and I'm like, well, money came in while I was out having fun. So people, it is possible to, for people to pay you while you're out having fun and enjoying life. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Natalie, um, I want to thank you so much being the silent assassin. It's so inspiring and uh, can't wait to have you back and, and really watch uh, you rocket this business to the next level and really let freedom ring. So we're going to have you back on when you do quit your job, which I think is going to be, well, who knows? I don't want to say because if anyone's listening from your business, your job, maybe you're not going to quit your job. Probably yeah. not. She's not going to quit her job. She's not going to quit her job. Maybe we should edit this out. She's building now long-term wealth for retirement. Yeah. I already told them I'll be quitting, actually. Oh, okay. wow. I did. Oh, good. Yeah, so by the end of this year, yes. End of wow. this year, okay. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So you'll be replacing your income by the, in the next six months. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mark and Scott. I really appreciate it. Glad you're here. Yeah, absolutely. It's, this, is, this is our why. I mean, you know, it's, we don't talk about it enough, Scott, but like this is why we do this is to end 
the affliction of solo economic dependency, which means if you're not working, you're not making any money. And, right. you know, I kind of like to wake up every day and think, you know, did, did, I, did I achieve that mission today for somebody? Did I help somebody achieve that, that goal of ending solo economic dependency in some way? Maybe not even for them, maybe for their spouse. But it's just, it's, it's really, uh, you know, a humbling thing. And, um, you know, we're, we're humbled, Natalie, even to be able to, to help you do that. So thank you. I want to thank all the listeners. And, um, you know, again, please help us for the podcast. And we'll see everybody next week. One, two, three. Let Let freedom ring. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. I liked it. Yeah. Back to can that one. That's right. You know, it's funny because now now they could have like said nothing and be like, yeah, I'm the silent assassin. I don't say anything. (laughs) I just thought it. Get ready to duck, Mark. Get ready to duck. I know. <laughs> I know. So, very good. Thanks again, Natalie. Thank Thanks you. Too.